A fiery blonde journalist, Megyn Kelly, once commanded Fox News. Her life was filled of dramatic highs and surprising lows. She was known for her fast thinking and strong will in court and on TV. Despite her confident TV image, she encountered severe challenges and unforeseen turns. Kelly reveals her darkest secrets after discussing her regrets and media trickery. What secrets has this fearless reporter concealed for years? How will these surprising facts affect our view of Megyn Kelly? Let's reveal Megyn Kelly's personal life secrets. Behind the TV image, Megyn Kelly has experienced love, heartbreak, and strength. Her relationships and family show the real her behind the headlines. Anesthesiologist Daniel Kendall was Kelly's first husband in 2001. Her Catholic wedding showed her beliefs. However, their professions and other issues led to their 2004 divorce. Kelly revealed that she was undergoing a Catholic annulment in 2024, demonstrating her religious commitment. Love found Kelly again in 2008 in Douglas Brunt, Authentium's former president and CEO. Marriage to Douglas Brunt created new doors for her personal and professional advancement. Douglas Brunt quit his job to write full-time following their wedding. His bond with Megyn Kelly has strengthened since then. They focused on each other, supporting each other's aspirations and navigating public life together. 2009, 2011, and 2013 are their offspring. All three of her children were born via IVF, making parenthood difficult. Kelly has always spoken up about her fertility challenges, encouraging other women in a similar predicament. The Kelly Brunts have a tradition between their homes. They focus on their kids' education in Connecticut during the school year. In summer, they retreat to their quiet New Jersey waterfront house to escape their public life. In 2022, Megyn Kelly lost her older sister Suzanne Crossley to a heart attack. Suzanne's addiction made her death even more difficult. She left three daughters and a grandson. Kelly has step-siblings, a sister, and a brother from her mother's second marriage to Peter Kerwan. As stated, she is a fervent Catholic. She is open about her faith, which has helped her through difficult moments in her personal and professional life. Unexpected health difficulties impacted her personal life as everyone focused on it. However, a vaccine controversy ignited a great debate. Is this her story's unexpected turn? Find out. Health issues and vaccine experience Megyn Kelly's health and vaccine experiences reveal her life. Her story parallels many Americans' COVID-19 pandemic experiences. Kelly managed Raynaud's illness, which affects finger and toe blood flow, before the epidemic. She managed her health while working. Like many others, she was unsure when COVID-19 vaccines came available in 2000, but she was vaccinated. Protecting her family, feeling societal pressure, and hoping life would return to normal drove her decision. Kelly's immunization experience was surprising. She revealed on her show that she developed an autoimmune disease shortly after her booster dose. This health event altered her vaccine and public health views. Kelly's honesty about her health issues resonated with viewers. She has shared the stories of individuals who had health issues after vaccination. This has sparked discussions regarding vaccine adverse effects and greater reporting. Kelly's health difficulties started three weeks after her booster, so she wondered if the vaccine was to blame. Her physicians felt it was a coincidence. In vaccine discussions, Kelly shares her experiences. She has advocated for more honest discussions regarding side effects and long-term repercussions to maintain public trust in health organizations. Fox News career and scandals Megyn Kelly's time at Fox News was thrilling, intense, and often tragic. She moved from a fresh legal analyst to a top news anchor in America in two years. 
Kelly began with legal views on special report with Britt Hume. Her keen thinking and strong personality made her stand out, and she took over Kelly's court and filled in for top anchors. In 2010, she hosted America Live, a two-hour afternoon show that won viewers over with her forthright attitude and harsh questions. The show gained popularity, with over a million viewers daily. 2012 election night made Kelly famous. Kelly persisted after Fox's call that Barack Obama had won Ohio was rejected by Republican strategist Karl Rove. She approached Rove and famously asked whether his worries were math that you do as a Republican to make yourself feel better. This emotional confrontation on live TV made headlines. Growing prominence gave Kelly a wider chance. She took over the popular 9 p.m. The Kelly file was a hit, sometimes outperforming Bill O'Reilly's longtime top-rated show. Fame brought controversy. Kelly announced on broadcast in 2013 that Santa Claus and Jesus were white, causing controversy. Some called her racially offensive, while others defended her. This episode highlighted how Kelly's statements might generate national debates, but the drama was still to come. Kelly asked Donald Trump about his history of denigrating women in the first Republican presidential debate in 2016. Trump and many of his supporters attacked her on social media because she asked tough questions. Kelly refused to apologize, stating she was merely reporting. Kelly's Fox position was complicated by this clash with Trump. Some colleagues supported her, but others supported Trump. It showed Kelly's struggle as a powerful journalist on a conservative network. Kelly's career thrived despite her because of the scandal. She interviewed Russian President Vladimir Putin and had a Fox primetime special with celebrities and politicians. By late 2016, Kelly was rumored to leave Fox. The network that made her famous appeared too modest for her huge plans. In January 2017, Kelly said she was joining NBC News for $15 to $20 million a year. Kelly was more controversial after Fox. The broader question is, did she control the media or was she a player? Media impact and propaganda Megyn Kelly's media experience has taught her how information can shape perceptions and how propaganda can be hazardous. As a newsmaker and critic, she experienced how media affects important events. Kelly was in the fast-paced Fox News news cycle. She saw how large stories could captivate the nation and how current events could influence politics. This taught her how difficult it is to balance reporting and persuasion. Kelly seen the media from numerous angles after joining NBC and starting her own ventures. She warned against echo chambers and polarized news sources. Kelly noted that many people were in bubbles, only hearing their own views. Kelly explains further about how social media distributes disinformation on her podcast and in public. She says Twitter and Facebook propagate misinformation quickly, making it impossible for the truth to catch up. She wants people to critically evaluate news and social media corporations to be more accountable. Kelly noted how conflicting health professional and media messaging eroded trust during the COVID-19 pandemic. Her own vaccine side effects made her worry if crucial information was being withheld to promote immunization. Kelly also studied how media coverage of wars affects public opinion. She's discussed how selective news and emotional language affect military support and opposition. She typically criticizes liberal and conservative media manipulation and bias in domestic politics. In recent years, Megyn Kelly has become a media watchdog, criticizing bad journalism. She has been especially harsh on activist journalism, where reporters allow their own ideas influence their coverage. She supports fair reporting and is controversial in the media due to her approach. Her experiences motivate her to promote media literacy. Kelly thinks it's more vital than ever to learn how to evaluate news sources and recognize misinformation in a sea of information.
It supports fighting fake news and deception. Political and Social Perspectives Megyn Kelly's political and social opinions have garnered as much attention as her career. After years at Fox News, Kelly doesn't fit neatly into one political group. She openly calls herself independent and has voted for Democrats and Republicans. This independence has made her an interesting and occasionally contentious figure in American politics. Kelly favors leftist views on some issues. She supports drug legalization, claiming the war on drugs has failed and we need a new approach. She supports legalizing more immigrants because she believes America's success stems from its variety and capacity to attract smart people from around the world. Kelly's views aren't simply categorized. She's worried about Muslim immigration in Europe, raising conversations about cultural mixing and its challenges. Megyn Kelly also has surprising gun control views. She disagreed with conservatives by condemning the NRA for having too much power after the Parkland High School shooting in 2018. She also criticized Congress for gun legislation reform in action. Over time, Kelly's social beliefs have shifted. In June 2022, she revealed why she no longer supports preferred pronouns. She now believes they encourage negative gender notions. This alteration illustrates gender identity debates. Kelly has focused more on LGBTQ issues recently. She has spoken out against transgender athletes in women's sports and gender-affirming care for children. Race statements by Megyn Kelly have sparked debate. She famously declared Santa Claus as white in 2013, sparking a discussion about holiday representation. Recently, she's participated in school discussions regarding critical race theory, criticizing its use to combat racism. Kelly claims she's just being honest and questioning society's norms, despite criticism. She's spoken at conservative gatherings like Moms for Liberty, but she denies any political affiliation. Kelly supports free speech and believes democracy requires open debates. Her shifting views on several topics have kept admirers and critics guessing. Megyn Kelly's shift to NBC in 2017 was intended to be her career peak. Her three-year, $69 million network agreement was big. Her own daytime discussion show, Sunday Night News, and coverage of major political events were promised. On Sunday night, Kelly interviewed Russian President Vladimir Putin to launch her NBC career. People wondered how she would do outside Fox News. The interview garnered attention despite varied reviews. Kelly's Sunday show underperformed despite the excitement. NBC halted it after eight episodes. It returned occasionally for special reports. Her morning show, Megyn Kelly Today, was the true struggle. Kelly wanted to appear friendlier and more personable for midday viewers. She uncomfortably danced on camera, played games with guests, and tried to be more intimate. However, few bought it. To see her transition from a stern journalist to a smiling morning host felt weird and unnatural. Things weren't going well behind the scenes. Kelly and NBC officials reportedly disagreed over her show format. Some co-workers thought she was given too much too soon. The Megyn Kelly Today ratings were also disappointing, adding to the tension. In October 2018, everything collapsed. Kelly said it was okay to use blackface as a youngster as long as you dressed as a character during a Halloween costume discussion. Her time at NBC ended abruptly due to the overwhelming reaction. Kelly apologized on Live and in an email to co-workers, but it was too late. A few days later, NBC canceled Megyn Kelly today. They discussed her leaving and Kelly left with all $69 million from her contract. Her NBC tenure had a major impact. Her reputation suffered, and many worried if she could return. Some thought her Fox News popularity didn't translate to a bigger audience. Others said NBC's unrealistic expectations put her up to fail.
Many felt Megyn Kelly's career was over after her shocking NBC departure. However, the tough journalist disagreed. How could she return to a media world that seemed to have forgotten her? After leaving NBC in 2019, Megyn Kelly reached a turning point. She disappeared for months, a remarkable change for a national TV personality. Kelly wasn't ready to leave. She returned in September 2021 with Devil May Care Media, her own media company. She was now the boss and made her own decisions, which changed her career. Her new venture focused on the Megyn Kelly Show, a podcast that started on September 28, 2022. Kelly could talk about politics, current affairs, pop culture, and personal tales without TV networks. Kelly's podcast became popular. Her famous reputation and turbulent past drew listeners, but her great interview skills kept them. The show showed Kelly's human side by alternating challenging questions with intimate discussions. Her podcast expanded in July 2021 when SiriusXM picked it up for their Triumph channel. The arrangement added video so supporters could watch her and more people nationwide could listen. But Kelly continued. She shocked everyone by revealing her acting career in November 2023. She announced her role in The Daily Wire's animated comedy Mr. Bircham alongside Danny Trejo, Roseanne Barr, and Adam Carolla. Kelly was brave to attempt something new and leave her comfort zone. Kelly's post-NBC career has been controversial. Her controversial views on transgender rights and race have garnered attention. She can still get folks talking. In December 2023, Kelly returned home. She co-hosted the fourth Republican primary debate on News Nation, proving her political strength. This appearance revealed that she still influences political journalism, even though she's not with mainstream networks. Kelly is also active on social media. She promotes her work, shares her ideas, and interacts with followers on Twitter. This has earned her a loyal following outside traditional media. Kelly's post-NBC career displays her adaptability and determination. She has experimented with new tech, forms, and acting. Although she no longer draws large crowds, she has found her place in the evolving media landscape. Megyn Kelly's journey from lawyer to television star was observed. She received good and bad press as her fame expanded. Child Help, a child abuse prevention organization, awarded Kelly in 2009. They appreciated her Fox News efforts highlighting this vital problem. This prize demonstrated Kelly's impact beyond politics. She received an Alumni Achievement Award from Albany Law School at her 15th class reunion the following year. This prize recognized her rise from law student to media star. Megyn Kelly took off in 2014. Time called her one of the 100 most important individuals worldwide. Her inclusion on this elite list among global leaders and celebrities showed that her voice mattered beyond Fox News. Her hometown honored her. Her Bethlehem Central High School Hall of Fame induction was in 2015. This was a unique celebration of her rise from local student to national star. Kelly's influence on popular culture rose with her success. She went from newscaster to celebrity. She was impersonated by late-night comedians and starred in movies and TV. Megyn Kelly was a significant figure in Bombshell, a 2019 film about Fox News' unethical treatment issue. Oscar winner Charlize Theron played Kelly with special makeup. Theron received a Best Actress Oscar nomination for her precise performance. The film brought Kelly back to the forefront and revived discussions about her tenure at Fox and her role in disclosing its faults. Unusually, Kelly wasn't involved in filmmaking. She later discussed the movie with Juliet Huddy and Fox News veteran Rudy Bakhtiar. Kelly found the film sad and believed certain portions but not others. The film bombshell sparked interest in Megyn Kelly. Even non-TV viewers learned about her role in the Fox News affair. 
She was prominent in workplace mistreatment and women in journalism discussions after the film. The film highlighted Kelly's mixed reception. Some perceive her as a brave woman who challenged powerful men, while others see her as a controversial character with a murky past. Bombshell balanced Kelly's Fox News role by highlighting these discrepancies. Megyn Kelly has shaped American culture through her accolades in film roles. Her narrative has been disputed and made into a huge film. Whether you like her or not, Megyn Kelly has shaped American media and culture. Kelly was a lawyer before becoming a journalist. Megyn Kelly entered corporate law straight out of law school. Kelly began her work as a junior attorney at Bickle Brewer LLP in Chicago, surrounded by legal documents and legal discussion. Kelly became famous for her smarts and hard work. At one year on the job, she co-wrote an essay for litigation, the American Bar Association's premier journal. Her work, The Conflicting Roles of Lawyer, as director demonstrated her legal expertise. Kelly excelled at Jones Day, a large law firm. Complex corporate law cases consumed her for nine years. Credit reporting giant Experian was one of her clients. Kelly handled complex consumer privacy and data protection issues, which would help her later in her profession. Even though Kelly was doing well in law, she felt incomplete. Long hours and legal labor made her crave a fresh challenge. She changed her life in 2003 by moving to Washington, D.C. Kelly changed course. She became a reporter for local ABC station WJLA. As she covered key law politics issues, her legal talents helped. She covered major events like Samuel Alito and John G. Roberts' confirmation hearings. Kelly's coverage of Justice Sandra Day O'Connor's retirement and Chief Justice William Rehnquist's death demonstrated her ability to simplify legal issues. Her political reporting during the 2004 presidential race was likewise impressive. As Kelly improved on camera, industry observers noticed. CNN executive Jonathan Klein later regretted not recruiting Kelly when she started journalism. Kelly got her big break on Fox News, which he dubbed the one talent you'd want to have from somewhere else she risked applying to work there in 2004. After seeing her potential, Fox execs had her conduct legal parts on several shows. Kelly's profession change from law to journalism was significant. Her legal expertise, charm, and fast thinking set her apart on film. She may brief political experts on Supreme Court rulings and then dispute them. After becoming successful at Fox News, Kelly was poised to become a household name in American media. The lady who wanted to argue court matters might suddenly tackle important issues on TV for millions. Few knew Kelly was a difficult lawyer before she became popular in the media. Early incidents shaped her initial dreams. Early life and education Megyn Kelly's rise from small-town kid to media icon began in the Midwest. Kelly, born November 14, 1970, grew up in Champaign, Illinois. Her childhood was typical American, with a concentration on family, school, and performing well. Megyn's childhood revolved around her tight family. Edward, her father, was a skilled teacher at SUNY Albany and Linda, her mother, worked hard to make their home loving and supportive. Megan, her older sister Suzanne, and her brother Pete were raised to appreciate education and hard work. Life wasn't always easy. Her father died of a heart attack when Megan was 15. Megan was driven to excel and make her father proud after this devastating loss. Despite obstacles, Megan persevered. A new beginning came when her family moved to Del Mar, a small town near Albany. Megan showed smarts and ambition in Bethlehem Central High School. Her hard study habits put her up for success. Syracuse University accepted Megan after high school. She studied political science at Maxwell School of Citizenship and Public Affairs. She improved her analytical skills and learned about social forces there. Megan continued. 
Following her bachelor's degree, she attended Albany Law School. Her skills shone there. She studied complex legal ideas, debated well, and graduated in 1995 with a law degree. Megan's education went beyond school. Her Italian, German, and Irish origins offered her a unique perspective on American culture. Her Catholic upbringing gave her strong principles that guided her profession. These early years made Megan strong and resolute. Syracuse and Albany honed her fast thinking, sharp intelligence, and hard labor. The Illinois girl was now a confident, knowledgeable woman ready to face enormous difficulties. She rose from a small community to national media fame using educational talents. Her early upbringing and education set the groundwork for a profession that attracts millions and sparks discussion. Her childhood lessons have kept her stable through public life's ups and downs. Thanks for watching. Like this video, leave positive comments, and subscribe for more great material. Click the video on your screen to see another interesting one.